What do you love about Brixton? I moved to Brixton last year. Coming out of the first lockdown, it was so great to have the first taste of freedom. Changing to a new location that I only knew slightly was daunting. Brixton's reputation of criminal activity and danger made me always wary of my surroundings. As I started feeling more comfortable in the area, I stopped conforming to this mundane routine. Not only did this enable me to open my eyes to what a vibrant street Ferndale is, but also allowed me to establish a close bond with my neighbours and the vivacious locals here. I wanted to chat with them about all things Brixton, culture, music, history, and most importantly, solidarity. So, what do you love about Brixton, Mark? I love Brixton because I was born in Brixton. Brixton wow. is a good place, but at the same time, a great place. I like the vibe when I came here. You can't just put it in one word. You know what I mean? Brixton is everything. Everybody can come up Brixton. Brixton is like the only place in England I actually feel like home. Oh. One of my favourite places on Ferndale Road is Mansion House, a recording studio providing for performers and composers in a variety of genres. From reggae, dub, pop, grime to DB. Solo singers, rappers, and musicians come from all over the UK, with the best part being the locals here showcasing their talent. Definitely love the animals. You do know that? You know what, man? Start up a little thing. I, I also love them people. The people here are kind, they're nice, they're brilliant. They're just good to be around. And Mansion House, always welcome them. Nice girls, nice dancing, everything. And if a food you want, <laughs> we have everything. So this is the best place to feel like fun. Has Brixton changed over the past 40 years? Gentrification, local businesses, and just general affordability. Will Brixton lose its so well-known identity due to financial gain? Yes, Brixton has changed dramatically in the last 10 years. In a lot of ways. A lot of stuff that we had 10 years ago, we, we, we don't have anymore. To be honest, I haven't seen much changes in Brixton. Loads of different people coming here. A lot of shops has gone. The whole, the whole, the whole setup. Actually, I like it's like the actual the whole geography of Brixton has changed. But we still love Brixton. It's a place to come. The UK went back into our third lockdown, and on the evening of the third of March, Sarah Everard was murdered walking home from Clapham to Brixton. With it being so close to home, it was scary for me and other women, especially after it happened at the early hours of nightfall. Do I feel safe or do I feel too vulnerable as a young black female in a place that I call home? There was too much pressure on self-protection in women. I wanted to make sure that I felt safe in this community, not alone in how I'm feeling, but most importantly, to not live in fear. <laughs> love family. Straight up, bro. <laughs> As I said, it's one big community. Like everybody knows somebody that knows somebody. You know what I mean? Female has always been the backbone of our community. So female has always been first priority and, and safe in Brixton. Now any mishaps in regards to females in these modern days has nothing to do with Brixton as a, as a community itself. When we met you, we the same thing again. We were walking down there. People feel safe. We're just community itself is we help each other. We don't know nobody. Say hello. Then you never know where it might lead to. Mansion House Studio. We help a lot of young kids, young boys. And we try to. In the future, we, if we have more funding we can do. We can help more kids. What was that? Was like that? Why? You know why? Because stereotypically, as you think, well, guys on the corner, what are they doing? As a community, we, we're still in the right place that we want to be. There's more work to be done, obviously, but Brookston as a community, it's, it's, we're doing great. But you're actually moving into a community where it's going to be now your home. So, any, if you move something in your home, you're going to know where it is, and it's 
everybody that's part of the community. Part of the Brixton has always been a closely connected community. For the first time since moving to London, I have finally developed a relationship with my neighbours. Working at 9 to 5, a commute and socialising, it's rare to have an opportunity to bump into them. Despite the challenges and harsh realities of lockdown, it has been lovely to appreciate my home and the people around me. I felt especially touched by a project started by my neighbour Jo. During the lockdown, art galleries were closed, but Jo wanted to start our own gallery in the safety of our own homes. Well, I heard about it on the news um, by um, Anthony Gormley was speaking, the um, man that made the um, Angel of the North and various other works of art. And I just thought it was such an exciting idea that I texted Mary um, and we'd worked on the mural together and we just said yes, so she said yes, I'm up for it. And um, so then we thought, well, should we ask everybody else? I've lived in various parts of London, but Brixton is where I truly fell in love with this city. I've been extremely blessed to meet very special people who have made me feel welcomed, safe, and most of all honoured to be part of such a fantastic community. Brixton has changed me to become a caring neighbour, contribute more as an individual to our community, but notably a better person. Lockdown has been a gruelling and challenging process, but I've learned that despite there being this social separation in the lockdown, we can still celebrate a strong togetherness as people connected, no matter who you are or where you are from. If you haven't been, come on down. It's blessed. Why do we fight ourselves? Why do you hate me? Only my father can help. I, you and me, freedom. I, ja people, we born to be free. Freedom. I, we break the chains, but we still not free. Freedom. I, the light to treat us like we wine.